Adams. Adams. <laughs> is that is movies that movies that are so wrong in today's day and age? Is that is that the is that the sequel to Brokeback Mountain? Prequel. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of Blazing Saddle. You never heard of Blazing Saddles? No, man. What what is it's that? Like, it's like a. It's set in like an old Western type town. That's what I picture. Yeah. Um, and like the, all the stereotypes are there with the you know the 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 Negro sheriff in a white town. Oh, okay. Right. I'm setting the stage. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Do I have to say more? <laughs> but it's, it's comedy. Comedy. Blazing Saddle. Gene Wilder, um, the sheriff, that the, the Negro sheriff, I'm not sure what his name is. Cleavon Little. Cleavon Bart. Nice. Right? Um, who's the old guy? I said 1974. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah Mel mean, Brooks. I've seen that one. Is Mel Brooks in there too? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Mel Brooks. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one. You'll... Well, actually, I think you'll laugh, but... Cheese Factor? The girl with the big titties. Cheese Factor? I'll say that like two. Two? Yeah. There you go. Come on, something for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you liked it, huh? <laughs> the truth comes out! <laughs> <laughs> James Bond films. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't James Bond. Was it? That was Austin Powers. Austin Powers. Austin Powers. <laughs> Powers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's a gold member. <laughs> that fucking guy was nasty, man. Fat bastard? No, not fat bastard. The gold, gold member. Gold member. He would pick his skin off and eat it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> you put a little kit in his little container and save it for later. <laughs> Who comes up with this shit, man? But the funny thing is, we had a teacher like that. That would eat his skin? No, would save it. What? Yeah, he would eat it. Who's that? Call names, man. Call names. I'm trying to remember his name. What school? What school? Westwood. Had to have been W Westwood. It was Westwood. It was Westwood. It was Westwood. Uh, science teacher, old man, older guy. Science. Kind of, kind of thick. Anyone watching this podcast, if you guys went to Westwood, um, please in, in 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 the comments. We had a science teacher that used to peel his skin off. I can't remember his name. If you guys. We, we want to call him out so that uh, we can thoroughly make fun of him. I'm trying to remember his name. Oh my goodness. No, I don't know that one. Mm. I'm trying to remember. If he was in science class, maybe he was just doing it for science purposes. So he could put it under your microscope because he knew that you were going to bring a flake of skin to school. <laughs> he never gave me none of his skin to put under a microscope. <laughs> Did everyone bring their skin today? No. <laughs> I got extra. There you go. I think he had some type of skin condition, but... Should you make fun of the guy if he had a skin condition for him? No, you guys are making fun of him. For shame, Mark. You guys are making fun of him. I just told you that we had a science teacher. They used to peel the skin off his neck and eat it. You guys are making fun of him. Let's get that straight. Did you guys call him Gold Member? No, this is before Gold Member. <laughs> I'm trying to remember his name. I can't remember his name. Huh. Oh. Well. It'll come up. It'll come up. At least, so, at least so hopefully somebody Maybe I'll comments. look at my yearbook. Like you don't know, you went to the same school. Don't play like you don't know. I don't know what year was this. I don't know what year I it was. Then. Could have been the before I got there. Because before I got to Westwood, I didn't realize there were so many black people in Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs>
But that's your fault, because you <laughs> stayed on one side it's of the... It was a whole new world, man. This guy. Because you lived with all the Italians. Yes, I did. That's all Malton was at one point, wasn't it? Yeah, but there was still a lot of black people. He just, you gotta remember, he went to St. Rafe's. I went to Rafe's, but, but you gotta also remember, remember where all the Italians lived to where all the black people lived. All the, all the black people lived on the west side of Gorway. West side of Gorway. Sorry, east side of Gorway. All the Italians lived on the west side of Gorway. So I must have been in like an isolated pocket or something, because... <laughs> Renwood, Middlebrook, Middleshire, all on Barcel there were pretty much just like streets that were purely Italian. Especially Middlebrook. I think what it was was most of the houses were Italian. There. Like the townhouses were more. The townhouses, right, the townhouses were all black and the houses yeah. were Italian. How, how can you tell when you walked into an Italian home? How can you tell? The whole house is tile. Every little it's piece of the tile. house is tile. Yeah, everything. <laughs> the floors, the stairs, some of the walls. <laughs> the whole thing is tile. But that, that's, that's old school. Yeah, it was, it, it, isn't that how they were in Italy? Everything's tiled in Italy? Yeah, I don't know. But... Every, everything was tiled. Yeah. Yeah. So he went to St. Rache, and I think, I think when he started going, so hold on. You went to, what school did you go to before St. Rafe's? Before St. Rafe's, I was in Scarborough. Oh, so from Scarborough you from went Scarborough to Scarborough to Moulton to St. Rafe's. So St. Rafe's. Yeah. So the only black people you used to see was over the hill. I used to get, no, used to get beat up. No, not even. I never looked over the hill. The only black people I saw was my sister and my brother. Yeah, but what happened when we came to take over the hill? Our hill. The hill you thought was yours. We took over the hill. <laughs> I was I wasn't part of it because I was a minor. A minor. So what do you mean, like for coal? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you're a minor? <laughs> I'm just trying to. Dude, I think I was what I was in grade what five six when all that happened. So I'm gonna tell you what happened. <laughs> so he doesn't know. So you know, no, I know exactly what happened, but you don't know what happened. But I wasn't in the thick of it because I was too young. So I was in the trenches, people. I saw <laughs> what happened. I was on the front line. So between Lancaster and St. Race, there was a hill that each school wanted to claim that was theirs. So you're not going to talk about the park. You're just going to talk about the hill. We didn't care about the park. Who would care about the park? Okay, go Park, on. Parks are a dime a dozen. Carry on. <laughs> no, you, you can't come across hills like that. <laughs> come on, man. So we claimed the hill. His his school decided they wanted it. I, I don't know why one day they decided, oh, this is our hill. And to be honest with you, I can't verify what happened, but I'm pretty sure it went something like this because my friend Junior and his sister Cassie uh, were the only blacks in their school. And so my brother. And, oh yeah, that's right, right. and Kurt. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they hyped up everybody in the school and said, yo, that's your hill, you guys need to take it. And what ensued was the biggest ass kicking in history of Malton. Like, we beat their asses and took the hill, right? <laughs> And they stood back and watched everything. Like, <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> so we took over the hill. It belongs to Lancaster. I don't know what's going on nowadays. I think one day I might pass through and find out what's going on with the history of <laughs> the area. <laughs> this is going to be a historical Malton Black that goes through the battles that ensued. But the hill belonged to Lancaster when I was there. I don't know what happened after that. Now, what's your story? Listen. Did, did I get that wrong or is that what happened? I think you got about 0% right. Zero. Okay, tell me what happened. So, again, I was a bystander. A bystander. So, I, 
Actually, no, you got 1% right. I did stand back and watch. <laughs> <laughs> So let so let, let's let's talk the truth now. Now that he's there's there's two sides to his story all the time. Mark's side and the truth. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright. So to my knowledge. Don't mind the noise. <laughs> so, <laughs> disruption tactics, <laughs> right? <laughs> Go ahead. To my knowledge, the way it's situated. We have St. Raphael's here, you have St. Mark's, St. Raphael's, Dean is Lancaster. Okay? I want to be a Lancaster. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hill. The ice bucket is the hill. Let's, 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 let's get some visuals in here. Ice bucket is the hill, and there's a concrete path here, and then you have the park. Now remember, Dean's Lancaster, Mark is St. Raphael's. This is the hill, this is the path. So you tell me how you can claim something that's not on your side. How you can do that? Huh? Barbaric. So from what I know and what I saw, they decided to storm the castle to claim something that's not theirs because Yerim parks are dime a dozen. So they're sick and tired of their little park. So now they want to come take our hill. So, a bunch of hoodlums come running over the hill with pitchforks and burning stakes. Pitchforks. Coming to beat people up for their property. What does that sound like? That sounds like the government. They thought they were the government. Come in and steal other people's stuff. So what I saw, I saw all this garbage going. So one teacher went over and says, no, stop, stop, stop and somebody punched him in his gut and he walked back to the school crying. When you said, no, stop, I thought for sure it was gonna be a she, but no, it was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remember the teacher's name. So, school finished. Me and Cassie have to walk that way to get home. So, because again, me, Cassie, and my brother were the only three black people in the school. <laughs> actually, no. There was actually there was a couple more black people. You don't need to convince me. You need to convince everyone. Else. No, there was a couple more black people. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So we had to walk that way, and we walked that way with no issues. Nobody touched us. Nobody bothered us. But once the white kids started going that way, these hoodlums harassed them. That's the kind of people they are. And yet we're best friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? People can change. People can change. Okay, okay. all right. Now I'm gonna ask a question. Where is the property line that states that that hill belongs to you guys? That and concrete path that goes down the middle. Mm -hmm and separates everything. That is the property line. Have you guys actually looked at the deed? Yes. No, you didn't. We have. Because we have the deed. No, you don't have the deed. It is in our trophy case in St. Rainfield's. If you go in the trophy case, you will see it. There's no deed in your trophy case. Well, maybe it is because you guys shouldn't have any trophies. Or you guys got beat up. You guys wonder how PlayStation and Xbox have all these games that have, you know, King of the Hill type game scenarios because I've been spying on these bastards for <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> this shit is good. <laughs> so that's the truth of the story. They took what's not theirs. That's what happened. I'm going to disagree. And, I, and I'm actually, I'm, 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 I'm very upset that you would actually compare me to someone like Christopher Columbus that came and said he come and discovered this and came and took it. No, the hill was ours. We, we said, this is our hill. You guys said, no, it's ours. I, mean, I guess we agreed to disagree. And we had a fight to see who was going to get it. And you guys lost. Mind you, you didn't lose because you <laughs> and your sister were like the lieutenants who sent all the pawns to fight. 
<laughs> but you guys lost. <laughs> and we took it. Maybe we lost the battle, but we no, I did not lose the war. <laughs> <laughs> He's very funny. No, guys, please!